But for this video, we're gonna talk about two things. Why do we need a concrete pump? Why is that included in your estimate sometimes? Welcome back, Pack. This is Adio from Wolf Steel Buildings. And uh, we're here in a lot of action here in Fresco, Texas. We are pouring a slab, and this is gonna be for a 26 by 30. But for this video, we're gonna talk about two things. Why do we need a concrete pump? Why is that included in your estimate sometimes? That's what we're gonna be talking in this video. Let's get it started. So guys, what you're seeing here is we got the concrete ready mix truck. It's already pouring the slab or the concrete mix inside this, what we call a pump. Basically a pump is, is pushing, it's like a hose and it's got pressure to push all the concrete down to your site where the slab is gonna be. So why are we using this pump and why is that included sometimes in your estimate? So as you can see, this is an old driveway. It's got a lot of cracks. These trucks are about 33 to 36 tons. So if we drive it up to the site, we would probably crack it, <laughs> break it really bad. So this lab or this driveway is not gonna be able to sustain that. And that's the reason why we have to rent a pump, which is basically a hose to carry all the concrete down to the job site. So that answers your questions why we have to use a pump. Now let's take a look at the slab. So what we got here is a six inch slab and this we did reinforce it with number five rebar. It's a lot thicker. We only really need a 12 by 12 footer for such a small slab. What you guys are gonna be seeing here is a 26 by 30 metal building come up and that will be coming in soon. I'll leave you guys with the clips of uh, some action that happened all this morning. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, uh, leave them in the comments below. I'll answer them. See you guys next time.